Good morning. Um, so I wasn't quite sure what to speak about this week. Um, uh, I kept uh, trying to think and pray about it, uh, but couldn't really settle on anything. Um, so on Friday, I decided to go to the park and uh, walk for a little bit, and uh, uh, just to clear my head, and uh, because I'm supposed to be getting into better shape. Um, but and of course, it's August, so it was very hot that afternoon, and um, so I was sure to take a bottle of water with me. And I was so thankful that I had because the water was all I could think about the whole time. Um, Not only because the heat was uh, really beating down on me, but um, also because it's such a great representation of the nature of God's love. Um, How it refreshes and replenishes us when our bodies are weak, just as um, God forgives us our sins and encourages us with His Word. And also how it cools off and... Uh, cools us off and protects us from the heat of the day just um, as God shields us and guides us through the pressures and influence of the world. Um, And the scripture that got stuck in my head um, during that walk is uh, in John uh, where it speaks about the woman at the well, um, which I'm sure I've spoken on before, but um, it's one of my favorite moments in the Bible. And every time I, I tried to find some some different verse uh, to speak on, I kept coming back to this one. Um, so it's in John chapter 4, and uh, I'll start with the third verse. Um, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he must needs go through Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samarians. Uh, Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence thou then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. And I'll skip ahead a little bit to the 25th verse. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples, and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What seekest thou, or why talkest thou with her? The woman then left her water pot, and went her way into the city, and saith to the men, Come see a man which told me all things that ever I did, is not this the Christ? And I'll stop there. Um, So I think I love this scripture so much because it demonstrates how simple and how yet so powerful Christ's love is and how it works. Um, First, uh, it's a knowing love that he has. Um, He knows all our needs and our faults just like he knew the Samaritan woman would be at the well at this time 
and needed his salvation. Um, also, it's a sacrificial love. Um, Jews weren't supposed to interact with the Samaritans, but Jesus went out of his way and tired his earthly body to see this woman because she needed his help. Um, it's also a personal love. Jesus sat down and spoke one-on-one -on -one with this woman um, while the disciples were off buying meat. And he offers that same intimate availability in our relationships with him today. And lastly, it's a forgiving love. Uh, and that's where the, the metaphor of the water comes in, I think. And, um, but it's not like the earthly water that we need to remember to bring along with us or physically seek out when our bodies are weak. The living water that Christ offers uh, through salvation is always with us and always springing up to restore and cleanse us whenever our spirit grows weary. Um, because as Jesus explains to the woman uh, in the, the scripture that I kind of skimmed over, God is a spirit. Um, and that is, and that it's with all of us, all of those who worship him and uh, Christ's truth. That is the sa his sacrifice on the cross uh, to forgive us all our sins. Uh, and once the woman knew that truth and was saved, she did what we should all do as saved Christians. And uh, she went out and told all who would listen um, what Jesus had done for her. And even though I'm thankful that I remembered to bring that, that water bottle with me on Friday, I've still, I've been thirsty since then. And um, so I'm ever more grateful that I have the spiritual well and his living water within me for the rest of eternity. And I pray for the courage and the awareness to always share that gospel with whoever I'm led to tell it to. And that's all I had um, for this week. Um, for birthdays, uh, Brock Bearden had a birthday on the 16th, and as did uh, Paisley Tally had a birthday on the 16th. And so did Cindy Martin. Um, and then on the 21st, Matt Panter had a birthday. And then on the 16th also, Beth and Paul Barron had an anniversary. So if you see them, uh, wish them happy birthday and wish Paul and uh, Beth a happy anniversary. Um, if there's nothing else, Taylor, could you dismiss us? Lord, we're thankful, Lord, to be in your house, Lord, once again, Lord, to give, Lord, praise to you, Lord, to thank you, Lord, for the blessing, Lord, that Brandon brought our way this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the words that he brought, Lord, and let us help to take it and apply it on our early, everyday life. Just go with us in our Sunday school classes, Lord, be with each teacher, Lord, with each student, Lord, that we might just be able to open up your word, Lord, you might just revelate our minds, Lord, to bring something out new that, Lord, we've not even thought about before. Just be with us. Just be with us in 11 o'clock hour. Just be with the man who used to stand. Just be with each prayer request, each need, each circumstance, Lord, you know each heart. Just go with us. Forgive us, Lord, for where we fail you. All the things I ask in your name and name.